know that a lot of people have been talking about like, oh, she doesn't even drink. What's she doing? We should have listened. These are celebrities that warned us about Jennifer Lopez. Starting off, we have Mariah Carey. There seems to be a long standing feud between Mariah Carey and Jennifer Lopez, but no one really ever knew why. Well, that was until Mariah published her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, in September 2020. She not only revealed the root of her feud with JLo, but she made sure to throw shade at her. In the book, Mariah slams her ex husband, Tommy Mottala, and then chairman and CEO of Sony Music Entertainment, accusing him of trying to ruin her career and getting Jennifer Lopez involved. She said that after she played a new song to Sony, after she and Tommy ended their relationship, Sony rushed to make a single for another female entertainer on their label, aka JLo. Now things actually got a bit worse and even more obvious, as Mariah had just recently worked on an exciting collab with Ja Rule, who Tommy also convinced to do a song with JLo. While JLo's I'm Real remix enlisted Ja Rule, Mariah was forced to change her song sample and bring in another rapper for her own remix, choosing DeBrat. JLo helped Tommy try to ruin Mariah's career, so I don't blame her for not knowing JLo. Next up is Rosie Perez. Rosie Perez met Jennifer in 1991 at an opening casting call for In Living Colors Fly Girl Dancers. Now, Rosie was the show's famed fly girl choreographer and claims that she was the one who convinced the host and creator to pick Jennifer. Now they became friends, but things turned sour. Making her debut in September 1991, JLo didn't immediately connect with her fellow dancers. All the girls were coming up to my office complaining how she was manipulating wardrobe, makeup, and me all to her advantage, Rosie wrote in her memoir, saying Jennifer thought the girls were just jealous. And though the singer left the show after two seasons to pursue an acting career, Rosie claims that she continued to make disparaging comments about her in Hollywood. After being hurt by the alleged comments, Rosie was surprised when Lopez was friendly to her at a nightclub years later. Jennifer came over to me smiling, saying hello as if nothing ever happened, she said. Moving on to her past classmate. Okay, so she's not a celebrity, but one of JLo's former classmates has spoken out against the star. Now, if you didn't know, Jennifer recently released her documentary on Amazon Prime called This Is Me Now, A Love Story, which gave a behind the scenes look into her new album, This Is Me Now, and the accompanying movie, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. Now, some fans who watched the documentary took to social media to call Jen out for her lies. In one scene, Jennifer poses in the mirror of her personal gym as she shakes out her hair and reminisces about her childhood in the Bronx. However, TikTok user Photos by Angela slammed the star in a series of videos as she claimed to have gone to the same Catholic high school as Jennifer and accused her of lying about her experience living in the Bronx. She fired, We both attended an all girls high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood, so you weren't running up and down the block. Then there's Natasha Ramos. JLo has long been accused of not actually singing on her albums, and singer Natasha Ramos took to TikTok to shed light on the rumor. Natasha, who has a voice very similar to Jennifer's, was hired to sing a demo of Jenny from the Block. The production team liked her voice so much that they asked her to record five more songs for the album, This Is Me Then, including the song I'm Glad. Now, Natasha received $3,500 and a backup singer's credit. However, she claims that, as the original demo demonstrates, it is her voice that appears in the final track. Not only in the choruses, it's also her laugh and her yelling from the Bronx. Jennifer only sings in the verse. Now claiming to be a singer and then not really even singing in your songs is just crazy to me. And finally we have Ben Affleck. Ben said that he was hesitant to rekindle a relationship with Jennifer again in an interview with Howard Stern. Now the pair dated from 2002 to 2004 and the end of their first relationship was partially caused by negative media scrutiny. While reflecting on the separation, Ben admitted to Stern, I got and angry and felt like a fool. However, in June 2021, the couple confirmed that they had rekindled their relationship after nearly two decades apart. According to Ben, he felt some hesitancy about attempting a relationship with JLo again, as he told Stern that he was worried about the impact the high profile union would have on his three children. He knew that all eyes would be on them again, and that JLo knew this and used it to her advantage. Well, that's all for our list of celebrities that warned us about Jennifer Lopez. There's been so much hate towards JLo so far this year, and it will be interesting to see if people keep up this energy with her.